Hi, this is Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about job interviews. I have worked at five different schools, so I have some experience with interviewing, and I have gotten the job almost every single time. So I've got some advice, and you're gonna to wanna to stick around and listen. First, we're gonna talk about what you need to do to prepare for that interview, because this is where I would spend most of my time. The first thing that I would do is create an updated portfolio, digital, uh, that you can send to that administrator that's going to be interviewing you. What would I include? Um, I'd include some of my personal artwork, because I think people are always curious about that. And I would include as many student examples that show off a variety of different things that you have done and accomplished. If you're someone that's just starting out, think of other experiences that you have even outside of student teaching. Um, I know when I first began, I'd worked for the Girl Scouts. I'd been a camp counselor. So I included projects and things that I led in that capacity. So it's okay to share some other skills that you might have in that portfolio that don't directly relate to art. Um, I would send this uh, to the principal, I would say a few days to that very morning of the interview so that they can review that and see what you're all about before the interview begins. I would then use my energy on creating a cheat sheet. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, what I did was put together maybe eight pictures on each side um, of a paper that I printed out in color. And I laminated this using the really thick uh, scotch, like the personal laminator lamination. And I made copies of this for everyone that would be sitting in on the interview panel and for myself. Now, what photos am I including there? I'm including photos of things that I think I'm going to be asked about in the interview. And then when I'm asked those questions, I'm gonna go ahead and refer to those pictures. Maybe they asked me about my classroom environment or how I set things up. And I'm gonna to refer to that picture and everyone at the table will be able to clearly see what I'm talking about. A picture is worth a thousand words. So I think using this strategy, they can imagine you working at their school. They can see very clearly what you're capable of. It's not just you spewing out some words and trying to describe things and not giving what you've already done uh, in the past justice, but it's really promoting you that they can see the picture and they can see you answering with your energy and excitement. I would also research the school. Now, this is easier than ever because you've got a school website. You can look on their Twitter, their Facebook, anything out there um, where you can get information about events, what the focus of the school is. A lot of times you're asked about different school mottos and focuses, and you want to be prepared for those questions because it shows that you're interested in that job. They want someone that's going to be serious about their school and is interested in that position. So really lean into this and use these, you know, use this in your answers. When you are explaining about something saying, hey, you know, I did this cultural connection with my third grade at my last school. And I think this would work really good with the multicultural fair that I see that you do at your school. I would research interview questions that you think you're going to ask. This isn't difficult to do. You simply Google art teacher interview questions. Practice, what is your philosophy? What are other things you think that you're going to be asked and rehearse those uh, answers. You wanna come across as confident, but when they ask you those things, this just rolls off your tongue and you're easily able to express yourself. You don't wanna be um, sitting there like a deer in the headlights or say to them something like, well, that's not something I've ever really thought about. You need to come in prepared. You are very capable of finding out kind of basically what they're gonna be asking you. And in the moment, you're gonna be nervous. So all the practice that you can do ahead of time helps that, um, you know, kind of pushes some of those jitters away. Cause you hear that question, you're like, oh yeah, I know, I got this one. I know how to answer this one. And you wow them with your answer because you've had time to think over what would be the most concise and amazing response that you can give. I would also write down and bring with me a questions that I had for the school. So this shows that I am interested 
And having them written down, because I'm going to be nervous, helps me remember what I wanted to focus on. Usually as the interview is wrapping up, they're going to ask you what questions you want to have. Um, and you don't want to say nothing because it shows that you're disinterested in the school. You want to have some things ready so that you can ask those and be prepared. One thing that I have noticed when I sat in on interviews is people would bring like a large binder with them of their portfolio and they wouldn't use this when they were answering questions, but they would get to the end of the interview where we asked them what questions they had for us and they would awkwardly say, would you like to see my portfolio? And you think to yourself, uh, you know, I'd really like to eat lunch or, you know, I, I'd like to kind of wrap up this interview. We've already sort of decided you're not it. And then the person starts, you know, this is the painting I did of my cat. And one time at band camp, that's not how you want to engage the people you're interviewing with. So I would ditch the big binder portfolio and I would just go with that cheat sheet. Ahead of time, uh, before the interview, you also need to be thinking about what are you going to wear? Um, art teachers can wear a suit, uh, but give it a little bit of flair. Give it a little bit of fun. You're the art teacher and you need to look the part. Um, if you're currently a teacher and they know you're coming um, from school that day to interview at your new school, I think it's perfectly acceptable to wear just some fancier teacher attire. So in that case, I think a dress or something would be appropriate. I wouldn't dress down in jeans or an art t-shirt t-shirt because you really want to feel comfortable and show off your personal best. Make sure that you try your outfit on uh, before you go and interview. You know, maybe it's been a while since you've interviewed. Maybe things don't feel comfortable um, the way that they had before the last time that you wore them. So I've noticed in interviews when people just didn't seem comfortable with their clothes or their shoes and it makes them come across a little bit awkward. You want to take all of that away and make sure that you have something that you feel comfortable, colorful, and your best in. In the interview, you want to come across as calm, approachable, and friendly. The first thing I would recommend doing when you sit down is making sure that you are comfortable. Any things that you bring with you, which really should just be a list of questions that you want to ask and your cheat sheet, make sure that you're comfortable with where those items are. At the beginning of the interview, this is when I would pass out those cheat sheets, those little photos that you want to share and you're going to be using when you're answering questions. Explain to people briefly what um, that is about and how you're going to be using it in the interview. I would purposefully, as the interview starts, place my hands uh, so that I'm not appearing awkward um, because you are very nervous when things get going. When you're being asked questions, make sure that you, if you have them in front of you, you're putting your hand on the question and you're following along. That way you're making sure that you answer each part of the question and your answer is focused on what they asked. If you're not given the questions, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask them to restate the question or ask once you finish, did I answer all parts of that question? Be sure that you are keeping yourself calm and putting the best you forward. Sell yourself and you will dazzle them. Immediately following the interview, you're going to write a thank you. Now this can be an email and you're not just going to thank the principal, but you're going to thank everyone that was in that interview separately. So in my current school, both of the PE teachers were there and separately, I sent them each a message thanking them for their time and telling them how excited I was for the opportunity to work at their school. You should ideally send this out, I would say within 30 minutes of your interview ending because they might be making a decision about you that soon. So you may want to have this already pre-written and then go in and add specific details, things that you talked about in the interview, things that you are excited about and things that you think you could do to help improve that school. Now you've got lots of tips and tricks. Just stay calm, do your very best, and I'm sure you'll ace your next interview. Good luck getting the job. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and subscribe. I make videos just like this one every single week. I help make your job easier, help you improve your classroom management, and help you feel less alone in this crazy career.